Hey guys, I just want to do this video here on Nerd. I was at the Gated Stadium this last weekend and it was absolutely amazing. Just show you some footage that I got. There's a quick pan of the room there. Um, there's a load of stuff all over the place. There's vendors everywhere as well. There's a, I mean, most of them are all games. There's one there. The anime is there as well. Nice little shopping town in Newcastle. Uh, he has another store here, absolutely full of games, games all over the place. Uh, games on the floor as well, and it's actually not bad priced either. Thought it was going to be dead expensive with it being an event. There's someone just uh, fixing an arcade board away there. Um, make sure everything runs nice and smoothly. So there's other things on as well, there was um, Tombola and a raffle and there was this um, cosplay event here, quite fun to watch. Wasn't sure on who uh, most of them were supposed to be, um, but that portal guy one there with the portal gun. There was also this as well, uh, Neo Geo X Gold up for grabs just for attending the event. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win, which uh, is a shame. Would have loved to have one of those. And just walking around some of the arcade machines here is uh, Daytona USA. It's uh, quite fun to play on that. Some uh, games I've never even heard of. Um, Turtles in Time there, four player cab, that was fun to play. Rave Racer Twin Cab, had a blast on that, that was fun. Going on the other side, there's a uh, Galaxy in there. Carnival is uh, quite a dark game. Uh, I want to try and get that on console. I have to have a look, see if it came out on something. And there's Crazy Taxi here. I'm dying to play this game. Uh, glad I got on it. Amazing game. Um, I couldn't hear the sound though, which is al always the best thing about these, but it's still fun to play. There's Vendetta. I uh, completed this with a friend. A Hulk Hogan look-alike there, and clearly a white Mr. T. And there's a Street Fighter cab here as well. Um, it was Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 2, and it kept changing every few hours. So it was nice to keep going back and seeing what was on and having a quick little blast. Point Blank there as well. Um, always a fun game to play. Really need to get that on the PS1. And there's a load of consoles there as well. Uh, a load I'd never even heard of or seen. Panasonic Q there, which I was looking forward to seeing. The Sharp X68000. Yeah. I think the sound that comes out of that is great. Got a castle being there. There's a new Geo controller as well. Uh, a little um, makeshift adapter for it. Uh, works with uh, the console. The Sega SC3000 there. Nice to have a look at. This is the Sega Multi Mega uh, CDX, as this one is. Someone playing Sonic CD there. There's a few um, Pong clones as well. There's Tetris 64 there as well, with the crazy peripheral that you clip to your ear. Measures your heart rate and changes the pace of the game. Quite fun to try that out. And, uh, some, some of the ones I've never even heard of or seen. Um, probably long before my time. Gig Leonardo. Never even heard of it. Maybe friend had a good laugh at this one. Dick Smith Wizard. There's a load of pinball machines as well. Didn't really get to play on a lot of them, but uh, I was, uh, a few, like this uh, Street Fighter 2 here. It's quite fun to play. And the South Park, I was looking forward to playing that. Get, uh, bonuses and stuff for killing Kenny. Uh, this was quite fun. Uh, Black Rose, I think it was called. Jurassic Park there as well. Uh, the Matrix there as well, I think it was a custom machine. It looked amazing. But, uh, it was always a queue though, so I couldn't get to play it. 
so yeah, I just want to thank Phil for setting it all up. It was a great weekend. Uh, hopefully it'll be turned next year. I'm sure it will though. And hopefully I'll see some of you there. So thanks for watching.